Dr. Mike Millard, psychiatrist and the director of This Way Up. A lot of attention is paid to the physical aspects of self-isolation and there hasn't been a lot of attention paid to the psychological aspects. People experience a whole range of emotions over the seven to 10 day period that they're isolated. It's perfectly normal to experience shock, numbness, distress, anxiety, some depression or mood difficulties. And then of course, there's the anxiety of moving out of isolation and back into society and back into life. At This Way Up, we've created a tailored program that recognises the different phases that people go through whilst they're going through isolation. So we've taken what we've developed uh, in our evidence-based programs that we offer and we've broken them down into a range of bite-sized pieces. So whether it's around who to contact if I'm feeling uh, psychologically distressed or what are the signs and symptoms that I need to look out for that things aren't going very well. The resources range through to videos around techniques that we know are effective and helpful for managing in the moment, for helping people when they're having that sense of overwhelm and distress. So it's really around providing people with a practical toolkit of strategies that we know work and that are helpful during a period like self-isolation. One of the key strategies that we're recommending is that very early in the period of self-isolation, it's helpful for people to sit and to come up with a self-care plan. This is really a process of taking that moment and looking at the ways that we've coped with difficult experiences we've had in life before. It also provides us with a chance to think about what might be more helpful ways of coping with the difficulties that we're experiencing at the moment. As part of a good self-care plan, we also think about who are the people that we might reach out to if things aren't going well, and what are the things that we might do that suggest that we aren't managing very well. And that's really around, are we relying on much more unhelpful coping mechanisms like alcohol or substances to try and help us through a period of difficulty? We know that whenever we do something that's difficult, to spend a few moments planning how we're gonna get through the next period is a very valuable thing to add into our toolkit. One of the key parts of the self-care plan is thinking through what are those signs that I'm not doing very well? Uh, are they that my mood is low? Am I not sleeping? Uh, are my levels of anxiety feeling very overwhelming and unbearable? Am I not looking after my body? Am I using unhelpful coping mechanisms? Am I drinking more? Am I using substances? These are all things that it's important for people to think through because they're the signs that something needs to change. I think it's really important to acknowledge our own individual experiences of the pandemic and to give ourselves permission to feel what we feel. And with that, to maintain our focus on really self-care and kindness for our own individual experiences and journey.